Okay, hello my Aquarians. How you doing? This is Keep It Classy. I'm doing you guys story read. Welcome new viewers. Welcome to my channel. I'd love for you to be a subscriber. So subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you much. Okay, thanks for stopping by. Alright, you guys don't forget to drop your Cash App name in the comment box. Okay, if you don't know what I'm speaking of, read the description box below. And it'll have all the information you need concerning that. All right. Like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Join if you'd like to be a member, you guys. Also, check out my description box and click on the Fit Benefit site. All right. Check that active website out. Feel free to donate to my channel. I thank you guys much. Okay. So let's get into your reading. Okay. Hey. Um, I was hearing as well me and Vent. So you guys may be somebody may be being told that um they need to reinvent themselves or somebody struggling in re re inventing themselves. You know, it could be a struggle that you're going through concerning that. Or um what was the other? Or this is somebody watching you and they see you reinventing yourself and they see you successfully doing that. That it's working out for you. Right? And they could be jealous of you because I'm hearing jealous. So they could be jealous of you because they see you being able to reinvent yourself. You guys, okay? So let's get these cards to drop. Okay, um, Aquarius energy. Show us the Aquarius energy, Holy Spirit. If there's any, okay. Okay, the devil is here. Capricorn energy. That was in um Virgo's energy, first card. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups. That was in Virgo's as well. I see Scorpio Cancer energy. Then we have the Eight of Wands. Fire. Energy. Sag Leo Aries. The Ten of Wands is here. Hey. More fire. Aquarius' energy. One more card. Aquarius' energy. Okay, the Five of Swords is here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. That's you guys' energy. So there's somebody um, very obsessed over you. I know, stupid. And like I told Virgo, you can see this person as being very toxic or you can see this person having addictions or this person does have some addictions they need to work on before you um, get back into a situation with this person. Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is a... Somebody that you may have had a family dynamic with, okay, and they want that ten of cups back, okay. They're coming in real, real quick. You're gonna hear something from this person real soon, okay, about moving forward with you. They want fast, quick, forward movement with you. Eight of Wands, you release this burden. Okay, they know that you there was a burden in your life. They know that you released them because of that. All right? So they're feeling a bit insecure. They're feeling a bit defeated, a bit defeated because they know why you released them. Because they kept a lot of toxic mess going on in your life. Okay? And you don't need to take this person back. Unless they heal those addictions, work on those addictions. So, you know, try to make this person work on their addictions or talk to them. If you give them any type of communication, let that be the communication that you have for them when they come in. You know, giving them knowledge on how to work on their addictions. Some they need to get counseling before they can even think about getting back with you. The high priestess is here. And that's Capricorn energy. The high priestess is here. Virgo. This could be Pisces. 
This person could be getting um spiritual help to get this family dynamic back that they want with you. Um, this person could be coming in with secrets. So there's a need for you to use your intuition so you can see whatever this person is coming in trying to hide. Because, you know, you may still hold a lot of emotions for this person and they'll probably you try to use that to confuse you. Um. Yeah, you may not see those red flags, but you already know this person's, you know, very toxic. They don't cause some stuff, some troubles, some burdens in your life. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. They're going to try to work hard at rebuilding this stability with you. They're going to work hard on it. Eight of Pentacles. Prince of Cups is here. Okay. I'll be in the I'm seeing this right here. What reading was that I did? Uh, the, the Taurus reading? It might have been Capricorn reading. You already knew this person intuitively. You already knew this person was doing something grimy behind your back. Something dark behind your back. This person is attached. Like I told um, Capricorn, I think it was Capricorn. This person is addicted to the dark life. They were deceiving you with dark life. They have a passion for dark life. So there may be sexual addictions. Okay, you're this person's fulfillment, but they have a hard, they, they have a hard time fighting this addiction. And they were doing this behind your back, but you intuitively knew this. But you may not have been paying any attention. Okay, so that's why they were trying they were they were indulging in the dark side and trying to hold on to you at the same time because you're their fulfillment. But maybe you did see it. Because you're very intuitive. So maybe you did see it. You knew what was going on behind your back. And that's why you released that burden. But the um, Capricorn was different. They seen it and they didn't do nothing about it. It was poor or Capricorn. Um, Aquarius is in it. Okay. Show me more of Aquarius' energy, please. Show me more of the Clarice's energy, please. Okay. Yeah, this person has deals with a lot of different um individuals, okay, behind your back. They were dealing with a lot of different individuals behind your back, Aquarius. Pisces Scorp. This is Pisces energy. The Eight of Swords is here. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Yeah, they, they were stuck in a cycle that they could not end or they weren't trying to end at the time. They were just trying to hide it from you. They were just doing it behind your back. Okay. And that may be why you ended the cycle. Okay, well, you had a hard time maybe ending it. Because you probably, you know, had a lot of love for this person. So it was hard for you to end it. But you ended it. Once your intuition was so strong showing you this. Yeah. Once your in intuition illuminated this to you. What this person was doing. You ended it. Because at first they may have had you confused. But once your intuition cleared. You seen it was illuminated to you. All was illuminated to you. And you released that burden. So you must have cut them off quick. <laughs> you must have cut them off quick. <laughs> kick them out. <laughs> yeah, you probably kicked them out. <laughs> Gave them the boot. <laughs> oh. And as you should have. As you should have. If this didn't happen, you need to do this to this person. 
Okay, Aquarius is energy. Leo energy. The sun is here. Leo energy. Aquarius is energy. So you may have Leo in your chart. Okay, so now justice. Okay, so you may be seeking um, justice in this situation. Maybe you're thinking about separating or you did separate yourself from this person. If you're married to this person, maybe you're seeking legal action or thinking about seeking legal action and getting a separation from this person. Or this is this person. This is Libra energy. Or this person could have been dealing with a Libra. That what was illuminated to you. You found out they were dealing with a Libra and you ended the cycle. Could have been that as well for some of you guys. Or this could be your person as well. Wanting the victory at getting back in your good graces. Two of Swords. But they're at a crossroads on how to um, get back in your good graces. And they may still be, yeah, they may still be hiding secrets from you as well. They may not be ready to release some secrets or whatever they were doing. So they may not have done the work. They probably didn't even do the work or not trying. They're just trying to get back in your good graces. Ten of Swords is here. Okay. So this person may still come in and betray you, backstab and betray you because they're still holding secrets. They're not ready to release that dark side. They're still trying to hold on to that dark side. Where is this energy? The star is here. Yeah, and heal things with you at the same time. Okay? So they're going to come in and try to and betraying you because they're not releasing the dark side. They're going to still try to hide it from you. But it's going to be illuminated to you every time because you're gifted. You're intuitive. You're very highly intuitive. You, you can see. You're enlightened. Look at the lights coming from your eyes. You see all. All around you. The light is all around your head. You see everything. Okay? They're going to still try to heal things with you even though they know they have not Try to work on killing themselves of addiction. They're not even trying to let go of a secret. There's still secrets you don't even know about this person. All right? Will of Fortune is here. Yeah, they need to end that dark side of their life before you even allow this person to even get a new beginning with you. Okay, the Will of Fortune. They're expecting the Will of Fortune. Um... They're expecting the will to turn in their favor without even releasing anything, without trying to change anything, okay? So this person is, they're going to go through some karma. They're going to go through some karma if they don't change. They're going to go through some karma, okay? The divine is with you. The divine is, you're, you're, you're guided by the divine. The divine has you by the hand. The divine is not going to even allow you to get back in the situation. The lovers is here, and right, and they're wanting the will to turn in their favor concerning them because they're in love with you. But they don't want to release their dark side, Gemini energy. Okay, because they feel like they're you're their soulmate. They know you're the, you're their soulmate. To you, they're your divine partner. I mean, to them, you're their divine partner. You're the one for them. To them. But they're not trying to do the work to change. Okay? Two of Wands is here. Okay? Two, two of Wands. So they may be um, looking at how to do some changing. How to um, work on themselves. They're, they're, they're thinking about it. Which way to go. Which direction to go. To be able to um, get the will to turn in their favor. Okay, so they are thinking about it. Two of Wands. They're trying to make a decision. They're trying to get some enlightenment. Okay, on what to do in this situation. How to go about doing it. What they need to do in order to get the will to turn in their favor. The Chariot on how to charge for it successfully with you. So they're trying to get some guidance. So they are seeking a higher power. They are seeking a higher power. Okay, this person is beginning to um work on 
being enlightened so they can move forward with you because they know they have to clean themselves up even to get that okay the world card they're ending a cycle of their dark side so they're working on ending a cycle of their dark side so they can get this new beginning with you okay that's good that's good that sounds good of course it's energy okay because they know they have to do the work nine of cups okay they have a lot of wishful thinking when it comes to you they think about the past a dad in jail with mom. you know with you and them okay they feel victorious when they think about you um four of cups they have a lot of wishful thinking about coming in giving you an offer so they're thinking about how to give you an offer they're thinking hard about this how to come in to you and offer you know a new beginning with you Okay. Aquarius's energy. Okay, show me more of Aquarius's energy, please. Okay, five of Pentacles. This person, they, they, they want to come out of the cold with you. Okay, they miss you. They're at a loss. They're lonely without you. They're at a loss without you. This person is very sad. Okay, they may be feeling a lot of guilt for what they've done to you, what they put you through. Ace of Swords, they're releasing what no longer serves them. To get this new beginning with you, okay? And they're also gaining clarity on how to get a new beginning with you. They're realizing something here, okay? Um, the Six of Pentacles, because this is what they want. They want all your attention, time, and the stability they have with you back. If you guys used to have stability with this person, well, family is here, Ten of Cups. So some of you guys did. Okay, the King of Swords is here. They're standing their ground with you. They're not going to give up, okay? They're not going to let up. They're going to keep on trying, okay? Because they truly believe that you're the one for them. You're their divine partner in their eyes. Um, They're going to speak some type of truth to you as well. And I think this person is going to come in once they... Um, Heal themselves of this addiction that they have. Yeah, they're going to come speak some truth about working on a partnership of stability with you. This is what they're wanting. Um, wanting to rebuild the stability with you. Force Virgo Capricorn energy. Libra energy is here. The King of Swords is a Libra. Princess of Wands is here. You're very tempestuous to this person. Okay. Um, they're going to take a risk. Okay. Whether or not you accept this person or not, they're going to they're gonna take a risk on trying to get you back. Okay. Yep. They know this is going to be an obstacle, but they're going to they're gonna do it. Yep. All right, so that's what I have for you. Okay, fire energy here, Sagittarius Aries. They may be younger than you, this person, or they're just, you're both young. All right, so that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you guys um, enjoyed the reading. Okay, again, you can have some Leo in your chart. Who I'm speaking to, Princess of Wands. Some type of fire, not Leo. You could have some Sag and Aries in your chart as well. Or this is this person with that in their chart. So again, you guys, subscribe to my channel. Like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Again, add your name, your Cash App name to the comments. All right. Oh, and also, you guys, what you need to do is add your birth date and the month. If you're Aquarius, add your birthday in the month, okay? I mean, add your birthday in the day. I'm sorry. The month in the day. Add the month in the day, all right? Because I may just do a birthday drop for you guys. I already did the um, cash app drop. Somebody already won that, the regular one. So this is your guys' birthday month as well as mine, all right? So you guys, um, drop your birthday day. 
in the month and be sincere about it because this is just for the Aquarians your birthday month this is you guys birthday okay so you may get a little gift for me a little surprise okay as, as well as with your cash app name okay all right so I love you guys be good subscribe like share hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video check out that Fits Benefit site, you guys. Check that out. Also, um, feel free to donate to my channel, okay? All right. Again, I love you guys. Have a safe, blessed week. Enjoy your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Aquarians. All right? As to myself. Love you guys. Be good.